Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Tuesday, number 27 day for the month of December 2022. Na the last week for this year as we round up the year. Una welcome to our daily podcast. A program where they bring una meaningful information. Where they bring una the truth. Fact-based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom, the independence of Ambazonia. My name is Kapo Daniel. I am the Deputy Defense Chief and the Anti-Kidnapping Czar of the Ambazonian Defense Forces. I am also the spokesperson of the Ambazonia Governing Council aka sense past king on our own countryman ambazonian fbi una welcome people of Ambazonia. For this day today, we will take a journey into our land for examining two things. Once, one, the lies of La Republic to Cameroon against Ambazonia in the international community to themselves and to their people, a demonstration of bad faith, wickedness, and the dismissal of the livelihood of our people and even the persons of our people and we will take a look into statements that have been released by one of the neurons. Neurons are the chief makers, the lawmakers of the great land of the Nso people in the great state of Bui. Statement released by She Wumlen Kavi that address certain critical issues about the fun of Nso. So first we will talk about what we happened for last week for Thursday we na number 22 day for the Dixe- for the month for December for inside a village where they call them say year year na a village we day for the district of Jarik uh, for uh, Jakiri for the great state of Bui after at the ADF it launched an attack using RPG a few kilometers away from year year na the nearest settlement we day for the roadway the ADF he attack la republic du cameroon colonial forces them killing 19 of them after that attack the next day for morning time la republic du cameroon then drove into that village with seven trucks an armored car and armored personnel cars then burned down over 12 houses them for the village for around the junction for year driving civilians into the bushes and into the forest a human right group in this case have documented this atrocity and make publication the cameroon government the colonial army have responded to these allegations which we have put forth and also push to other human rights organizations and the united nations the cameroon government they have denied that they did not burn down any house in Bui. According to the statement released by the Cameroon military, the Cameroon government, the human rights group in La Republic du Cameroon that published this report of this atrocity claims that, which we know is true, that houses of people suspected of supporting Ambazonian freedom were burned and targeted by the Cameroon occupation forces according to the statement released by this ngo hundreds of people from the village of Yer have spent nights in the church as well after that incident because their houses were burnt by the cameroon military and according to that group video that was published by the community leaders also in the video stated that the cameroon military burned down that village of Yer following an attack between jakiri to kumbu road the cameroon government in their own statement they said that yes the that video was taken after la republic du cameroon troops attack ambazonian fighters in year the cameroon government said at least four ambazonian fighters were killed in that attack and he says that the ambazonian fighters they ran away and then they came back and set fighter set houses on fire 
accusing the people of collaborating with the Cameroon uh, government. One elite for so with the decoy Ta Emmanuel Tata. He also a member for Cameroon Civil Society Group. He then testified say La Republic du Cameroon forces the Ramborn houses them. We amount to forty houses them for inside Yer, Kima, Meluf. For inside uh, Bui, these three villages them the total house with them born and then are forty houses them. According to his testimony, he also talks say the uh, the burning of these houses them it been a reprisal attack, that means in a revenge attack from the Cameroon occupation military. This exchange between our publication and the publication of human rights and elites in this area about the burning of houses and the Cameroon government outright lies should give our people a good knowledge about Cameroon and the government of Cameroon. We all saw the Ambazonian fighters who came back, tried to chase away the Cameroon military by shooting guns sporadically, which helped to stop the Cameroon burning of the village of Yerm. In the village, in the videos that have been released, you see Ambazonian fighters of the ADF there, walking with their guns on the streets amongst their population. You have heard NGOs, you have heard men of uh, inte integrity in that areas who have come out to testify. We have seen victims, women in a video, testifying that the Cameroon military burned down their house. What government on earth will, even in the presence of so much testimony, come out to lie about action that was done by their soldiers systematically? They should tell our people that the Cameroon government have no credibility, they, not, they do not value the life of our people or think our people have any accountability to give. When they come and they tell our people that they are there to protect them, they are there to rebuild their houses and provide them with humanitarian assistance, nobody who will see the house of over 40 families burns to the ground. Their bands, that means burned away, they don't store their food, burns to the ground, come out to lie that they attack Ambazonian fighters in Yerra. We know that no fighters was killed in Yerra. Actually, no civilian was also killed in Yerra during the burning of those houses. There was no dead body. A so-called government making up things, just coming up with outright lies. How do that Cameroon government think the people and the families of this 40 house in Yerra, in Meluf, and in Kima would think? Of course, they know that this family knows the truth. Of course, they know that the church community that have housed these family members will know the truth. And they don't care about what you think or how you feel, let alone do they care about your well-being, your future. It is a colonized army that goes around trying to carry as much atrocity against our people to subjugate them to live in a system where the truth do not matter the history is buried, an improper fraction of a life that is not worth living. If these crimes of burning of our villages and killing our innocent people were not done with the direct instruction from Yaoundé, Pobia and his cohort, their government sitting in their offices in Yaoundé will not come out to justify and even lie to cover up these crimes even when there are available evidence on the ground and evidence they have access to and would have easily opened an investigation to investigate what happened in Bui. No, they cover up because they are responsible. They have the command and control of their military. It has happened not once, not twice, not 100, not 200, not 400, more than 500 villages. One, two, three. I mean villages with numerous houses have been burned to the ground by the Cameroon government in Ambazonia. These are war crimes. This defines the conduct of Cameroon and how they perceive us Ambazonians. We are nothing to them. We cannot live with such a people. Imagine in Oko, where in a small village called Shinga, in a place there that they call, the quarter is called Ngenke. In that Ngenke, that was where the ADF commander, Commander Freeboy, was killed. The Cameroon terrorists have been hiding in that village for the past one week. The population have all abandoned the village to them in their frustration in living. They burned down 53 houses. 
this is ruining the livelihood of families that you can only imagine when we talk to these people and burn down over 13 bikes this government that goes around burning houses and village they want us to become accustomed to this demonic and evil practice of arson attacks on villages by professional military men under instruction from Yaoundé. They want us to become so used to that we do not still feel the pain of our people and we become mute to accept this new normal, to be so-called the normalcy after they have promised our people that everything has returned back to normal. This is the normal they want, a normal where our people accept to be fool and idiot whose houses have been burned by a government that pretend and blame it on that same community that the children of that communities who have picked up weapons have come back to burn their own communities to revenge the like public to Cameroon's presence. This absolute lie should never be tolerated and our people should see it for what they are. A government that wants to take us for fools, people who do not know their history, their rights, we will never accept this type of formula. We must fight it with everything we have to preserve the dignity and sanity of our people and this also calls back the knowledge which we have been educating our people for the past two years and the importance of gathering intelligence and uh, evidence of this crime we have seen the same struggle in organized states with resources like in ukraine where they gather evidence of war crimes and preserve them they gather testimony and preserve them that is why we insist that every ambazonian have a role to play if you see a convoy of Cameroon military occupation forces parading or driving around our country, please video record them. There are many tactics you can use your video. You can turn the video on your cam video camera on in your phone, bend it towards the, the vehicle without raising your phone up and record them and send those evidence to us. Those evidence will make sure that the criminals in Yaoundé, Pobia and his cohort will one day face the justice for the crimes they have committed in Ambazonia. There will be accountability one day, but if we allow them to do things like this and we have no evidence, then they can get away with the murder of our people. Remember to record the time, the location before you send it to us. It's always important. If you see something, say something. Because when you see them passing in one area, know that they are going to burn villages in another. This is their mundus operandi. This is their track record for the past five years. And they have shown that it will not stop. Victims and eyewitness of these crimes must video record their testimony and forward them to us to preserve and to send them to the appropriate quarters for it, where justice can be sought after. Fellow Amazonians, we will now move to the great state of Bui, the Suso land where the Fon of Sok had traveled to, to Germany, a far away distant land, to go and bring a statue of a female goddess called Ngang Sok. The Fon of Sok traveled all the way to, to Germany to bring back this statue, and their plan was to bring this statue with the protection of the colonial governor and his troops to Bui. That mission failed because we attacked that convoy with RPG, and so they have canceled their plan. They are now trying to bring sort people in the cover of the Cameroon occupation military who have militarized Bamenda to visit the son the fun palace of uh, Mancon. The fun of Saw is a traitor, and any fun who violates the right of their people deserve no respect from that people. The rule of traditional leaders and elite are to speak out for the grievances of their people and to represent the aspiration of their people. If you are elite, your job is to speak and express what your people are suffering. Your people cannot be suffering and then you are walking around with the enemy. That will be treason against your own people. You cannot see this anywhere in the war. We cannot accept this in Ambazonia. Funds must sit down with their people. Otherwise, if you are walking with the enemy that is burning down villages and killing your own people, what, ex what do you expect them to do? They will pretend that everything is normal and they will abandon your people. They will not respect your people. The disrespect of our people is coming because of funds like the one of Saw, so, who have abandoned his village and sit with the enemy in Yaoundé and is living out of pocket money that is given to him by Paul Bia and not his people. This is treason. Our people should never accept anybody to be a leader, to be an elite, to be a traditional authority over them. 
if that person do not represent their own suffering, their own aspiration? Why would a phone travel miles and cross co continent to go and bring a statue, but will not travel to the forest to see and explain to the world the amount of Sok people who are in the forest? He has abandoned the women in Sok, in Yer, in Meluf, who have run into the bush to go and bring for a statue to bring back home because that is what will benefit him personally. One of the Nguyenongs, who happens to be one of the chairs in the ADF, Shea Wemelen Kavi, have a message for the Nsa people regarding the conduct of their phone. All Nsa men and women of goodwill. This is uh, Shea Kavi Wemelen. I've seen a right up uh, to be coming from one uh, guy in Yaoundé who calls himself the phone of Nsa. As far as Nsa land is in Amazonia, and as far as Amazonia is concerned, the Nsa people have no fun. I read he is calling on Nsa men and women to gather in Pamenta and move to the funds, to the fund of Mankong's uh, palace in a celebration of Fon Angwafo, another black leg like himself. We are hereby saying that the Nso people, as far as Amazonia is concerned, have no fun. Any Nso man or woman who dares to move to the Fon's palace, to the Mankon Fon's palace, will be doing so at his or her own perils. Beware. You want. There is no joking time, there is no time to play. Some of these so called funds, so the thing that we are in a kid's play, or that we are joking, there is no way we can march back to the blood of our people that have been killed, systematically murdered. The, the blood, there's a genocide. That blood in our territory, there is just no way we can march back over those blood, over those stains, over those burnt and roast houses, over this ethnic policy that has been orchestrated onto us by La Republic du Cameroon. So therefore, any man or woman who thinks that we are in a kid's play might not know what happened next. Our people must know that we have an obligation to the people to preserve their dignity and honor. Anybody that step on the blood of our people to go and make money to sell that man, their blood to the Republic will pay highly, eventually will pay. And uh, you should remember that the Ambazonian Governing Council was criticized and Sheikh Havi and myself when we asked that the phone of Saul should be allowed to come home and stay home with his people. When he was arrested by some ARF, we said that we cannot arrest a phone who have done nothing. At that time, he has not yet participated in that house of chiefs that was created by the occupation forces and government of La Republic. He has not yet betrayed his people to outrightly say that he is against the aspiration of his own people. So we are fair with him. We do not persecute him for something he has not done. It was after he committed the crime of treason where he betrayed their, his own people which he is supposed to represent to adopt the nationality of a foreign government that is currently waging war against his own people. A foreign that waged war or enabled the war against his own people. A foreign that sides with an enemy that undermines the sovereignty and independence of the state of his own people is clearly a phone not worth it is clearly somebody who have become a cancer to that community and should be be held responsible for his criminal and treasonous activity that is why based on his own crime against our people and his own people he is not considered a phone in so and those who go around him they should think about the blood of the people they work on to move with him those who seek handouts from him, 
Hanaus that comes from the enemy should know they are drinking the blood of the people of Saul who have been slaughtered and the tears of the women of Saul whose houses have been burned by the colonial government of La Republic to Cameroon. We want to acknowledge the hundreds of chiefs in Ambazonia who have refused to take part with La Republic to Cameroon in any shape or form in any political activity or any association to preserve the honor and dignity of their people during this time of war. May God bless you and keep you strong. You may lose the admiration and money that comes from the blood of your people in the hands of Cameroon and the genocidal regime, but you have won the appraiser of the God that created your people and the hearts of your own people. You will be respected by the state of Ambazonia forever and you will live in peace in your country. But for the traitors, the black legs, there shall be no joy for the wicked. Kapo Daniel signing off 